Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passengers. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We are going to be playing Skylar and Pluck's Adventures on Clover Island. <laughs> have you ever heard about this game? Um, the problem with like, games like uh, Ukulele and stuff, or not the problem with them, but the kind of like the existence of them, is that they tend to be connected in some way, shape, or form to something else. So, Ukulele, we all knew, was Banjo Kazooie read on with the different character models because they couldn't use their original I AP. Skylar and Plux seems like the that, but for Jack and Daxter, or for Ratchet and Clank, and I'm curious to know, is this actually like a, a mixture of Sly Raccoon and Jack game, or is this really something else all entirely? Let's discover it together, guys, because I don't know much about Skylar and Plux, other than it looks and feels like that's exactly what it is. It's one of those games. An adventure, collect-a-thon, move around, adventure across in a landscape. Dude, even the backgrounds look similar. I, if, he, if that arm goes out and grapples and pulls you ahead, it's Bionic Commando by way of Sly Raccoon. Uh, by way of Jack and Daxter. Let, let, let's, let's, see, let's see where this goes. I'm looking forward to it. Those gonna even have difficulties In or anything the else. Outskirts to start. of our galaxy, a relic from the ancient progenitor civilization has surfaced, and I fear what could happen if it fell into the wrong hands. Some say heroes aren't born; heroes are made. I guess cliches exist for a reason, because our hero is just in the making. Bob, how is our test subject doing? Oh, well, look who's awake, our little thief. Are you really so stupid as to think you could steal from the great CRT? Heck, I'm not even sure how you're still alive after that gruesome reconstruction. But hey, I'm not complaining. Once your brand new arm's complete, you'll be able to sucker punch people into orbit, baby. Now, if all this sounds a little strange to you, it's probably because I've started removing your memories. I know, I know. A tad extreme, but that's just how I roll. Can't let you keep that pesky free will of yours, can we? Okay, <laughs> bye now. Installation complete. This was a rather unfortunate turn of events, although you no longer remember said events. Hmm. Stand by. Initialize kinetic weapon system. So it would seem that you have a much greater role to play, Skylar. Let's get you out of here. What the fuck? The guy gave him a robotic arm and the robotic arm immediately revolts? Alright. Uh, Blade Kitten made more sense than this, I suppose. But... Alright. We've got a gun arm. Now, first things first. Oh no, I didn't like this perspective. Christ, it really does feel like a ratchet game. To be fit as a fiddle. Now, I am more than a regular. Use me to punch through those boxes. Wait, how did you get out? I mean, I see you're uh, taking a stroll. Good. You'll need some training before you're. Don't bother jumping those containers, though. It's not like you can jump twice in the air or something. What? Bob? You never told me she was gravity-defying. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I should have known. Try my other function on this swarm. Spin attack. The spin attack also functions as a triple jump while in the air. <laughs> I didn't I was hoping get killed by me dropping into the pit. No, no. Please don't actually do damage. Alright, end of the road, you rascal. 
So essentially, um, it feels a bit Banjo Kazooie, Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank. It, it's this is actually it feels like it's really, really trying to be all of these things at once. But um, I don't really know. If it's actually, like, that this style of gameplay is actually a lot easier to do, and the controls feel responsive and quick. Um, I can judge distances and uh, movement quite well with the character. It doesn't feel as too fast, but it doesn't feel like I'm fucking grind, like slowly tromping through level. I feel like I've got a little bit of pace as I move. And as long as I actually keep this kind of like path finding thing going on, I can actually feel like a gem show me which way I need to go. Even if it's linear, I still feel like it's actually one of the things I'm doing this. I'm, 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 I'm having to make a decision on how, what way I'm getting around it. No, 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 that seemed, that's wrong. That's not the way I mean it. I mean that there's um There's a, a forward momentum of the level whenever you're actually playing it. So I'm protagonist. The outset of word you. But I think Skylar or Plux. Or Skylar or Girl. Guy. End of the cat. line, kitty cat. <laughs> oh. Get her! Ah, dang it, you imbecile. You complete Now's your chance, Kyla. Escape. Punch a hole in the side of the wall. <laughs> Punch a hole in the side Thanks of the fucking entire ship. That's let it pull you out with just the wind and the actual, like, uh, vacuum of space. <gasps> no way! Today's finally the day! Woo! Oh god, she just found one of the reasons why I'm not gonna be enjoying this as much. Rush. <laughs> Alright, take me home, Papa. Hey, you're not. Who are you? This is Skylar. Whoa, you got a talking arm. That's neat. Greetings, feathery friend. Oh, Greetings, friend. you guys. I'm Plux, and these islands are my home. Right, so we've gone from a space station, and now we're going to spend the rest of the game on Clover Island. Interesting. Me Isla is so Isla. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Plux. But we have urgent matters to attend to. Skylar? If you wish to regain the memory CRT erased, you must find the progenitor structure called the Siphon. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. The island is always scared about that thing. It's a huge engine looking thing, right? That's uh, sounds just like it, I guess. Can you take them there? I know these islands like the back of the ring. That, uh, sounds just like it, I guess. Can you take Splunk? What the but fuck was that? To I know felines don't like getting wet, and your mechanical arm is far too heavy for you to swim in. So watch out for large bodies of water. Note to self, keep kitty cat out of water. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I'm actually enjoying the methodology of this. Like, I'm just staying focused on the path I need to travel along. The... 3D world is very, very linear. It is a platformer with smooth controls and nice design. Um, admittedly, I'm actually really not looking at my character. I'm actually looking at the path to travel along. And Plux is so goddamn annoying already because he's visually, he's like in the way of my eyeline whenever I'm looking at things because he bobs and falls with you. He moves a little bit more naturally rather than sticking to like a. Um, to all our dismay perish, like a, they will I don't know, relocate uh, you to like the last uh, floating artifact that just kind of like is. And I, uh, he's like, he's like, he feels a lot less alive because of what he's doing. That's thoughtful. Uh, 
はいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはI always said keep her out of bodies of water because she got swung. But, um. Literally, the first place to take you, like the first public place, is actually like, you can't go here, you can't go here, you can't go here. Let's find that gun. Bit well of a slowdown there. Now, would you kindly release me from this cage? Oh, there was actually a. What? Oh, so there was actually an arbitrary number limit of things I had to pick up to get the cage open? You paid to open the lock? Alright, now I, now I think I can get this. What the fuck? The leftover character from Adventure Time? What the fuck? Oh, thank you, young one. And thank you, two plugs. Hey, don't sweat it, but what in the name of funk is going on? A <laughs> the name of calamity funk. has struck our island. What the actual funk? That is the now, as my rant videos, which were WTAF, are now what the night what the actual to funk. The siphon, broke it we need to have a thing. We need a funk tune now to play with that. Guys, Regman was in the channel. Seeping away. It's an ancient progenitor mechanism powered by three fuses. Uh, I'm assuming we have to travel around the island to find the three fuses. The other two return to their original places of creation. On the highest point of the island. And here's why I send you on this quest. This is where you must go. Seed lost like a link, time. you will go to three shrines. There will be many puzzles and inside. And you will lift things up. Ba -na -na -na. He has imprisoned my people, the Loar. Trying to extort us into revealing the fuse's locations. Oh, please, if you find any of my children, break open their cages just like mine. Okay, so that's what you're. That's what you're trying to do. So now, now there's a purpose behind them and it makes sense. And beat down. Remember to come and talk to me. I will soothe that your sure body seems like and a tall mind. Order. I'm sure you'll do fine, Skylar. Pleasure meeting you. Plux, I know you haven't embraced Clover Island as your home, and I understand that. But it needs you now more than ever. The the overly what? dialogue who have like you just have very simple movements you and no lip movements island, is a little so bit unnerving in this game. I just think they're all doing it telepathically. I guess I know my way around. Sure, if you say so, jelly beans. Very good, my friends. <laughs> it if you do you know Skylar, what? Skylar and Plux feels like this could have actually been an Adventure try. Time game very, very, very easily. Good luck to you both. All right, let's go on an adventure. Open five boxes for hearts. Okay. Well, guys. Um. Yeah. This is a. An, oh. <laughs> immediately kill myself. Good times, guys. Good, good times. At the good time rule. So obviously there's actually multiple paths we can take. We can actually go up to that one, Clover Mountain, and that's the other one. And this is the first one you're going to go across to, I imagine. So yeah, the adventure can continue. Um, I think Skylar and Puck's uh, adventure on Clover Island 
could be well worth a play. Uh, if you actually are a fan of that adventure genre, if you're a fan of platforming and collectibles, uh, it's not bad. The controls are nice and smooth. It's actually, a, it's a very responsive. Like I said, there are a couple of visual ticks that would actually annoy me. If, if they could just have plucks fuck off while you're jumping, because he actually is a distraction while you're jumping. And also, can help, it made me misjudge a couple of distances when I was actually doing that first part of the game. Um, it was like, I was, it was very noticeable different because he wasn't there whenever I started the game. And then whenever he arrived, I immediately misjudged like two jumps. And I was like, that's because I think, I'm thinking about whenever he bobs up, it's actually making me think I'm actually higher up than I was than, than I was previously. It's such a small, small thing. But it irked me whenever, as soon as I actually start playing. I imagine I'll get used to it very, very quickly. But uh, don't give a, what felt like a comfortable jumping and platform experience, and then immediately unhinge that a little bit by having the character just stuck to your shoulder at all times. Have plucks literally like hang onto her back or fuck off a little bit further ahead of you whenever you're actually like what running like that. So you could point out things. Do you know the way they have the swingers in the game? Uh, why does plucks not fly over to those and go like, hey, and actually like red? They mark it for you essentially rather than you haven't actually just spot it in your view. There's like little things like that. Um, probably there was like limitations and time and they didn't want to have it as a separated object. It had to be part of the animation cycle for the character. But all shit I can completely understand. But um, yeah, the Scattering Plucks, for those nitpicks otherwise, fun looking adventure game. I'm looking forward to actually playing a bit more of it. If you guys want to see more of it here on the channel, you, all, you know the rule of thumb. I play a game here, I move on. I don't come back to it unless you guys ask. And if you guys ask... Say it in the comments and say it below. You want to see more of Skylar and Plucks and find out more about their adventure. So, um, yeah, if you happen to be watching this on many of the different sources I put it on to, thank you very much your, for your support. It's really, really cool of you. If there is actually anything that you're watching this on that doesn't have advertising on it, then please consider actually heading down to the Patreon or actually hitting the links in the video or below the video to actually be able to kind of help contribute and save the channel from ceasing to exist because it's, it gets harder and harder to decide whether or not to keep this going if people aren't, um, you know, watching it <laughs> and watching it in a way that actually can help me so I can survive while doing it. So that sounds like a plea bargain thing, but I, it's something I'm going to have to start saying more now at the end of these videos because I'm doing them so few, so few of them because of the lack of time benefit ratio. So yeah, uh, boom. That was actually all of it for Skylar and Plux. Uh, if you haven't been watching this on YouTube specifically, there'll be a button up there. I really appreciate you actually hitting. Thank you very much for actually hitting it. If you do, up here will be a playlist. Right over there will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you, based on the user analytics and the things you actually do on YouTube. It'll actually pick out a video just for you on your taste, the things you already like. And this is the one you need to watch next. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.